Hey guys, welcome to Nikki's Fashion Diary. This video is all about how to get an affordable, cheap backdrop that you can dismantle. So I googled and I researched a lot of videos of you know backdrops that people you know have bought or that they've made and I've looked at backdrops that people have made from PVC piping. They're like putting all this together and measuring all the pieces to, to make their own backdrop. Listen, I'm not about to do that. So then I looked on Amazon at backdrops and you can buy them and put them together but once they're put together then you're stuck with this backdrop that literally lives in a bedroom and are you going to want to dismantle that backdrop every single time? I don't think so. So some folks dedicate an entire room to YouTube so that they can just film, they keep their setup stationary, but I don't have that privilege because um, I'm not going to have an entire room dedicated to YouTube. Sorry YouTube, I love you. However, I wanted a backdrop that was A, cheap, that was B, easy to take down and dismantle and put back up again. So my research led me to something that is unconventional that I use for my backdrop. So you might ask, what is holding up your backdrop, right? So. Um, I'll talk about actually what I use for my backdrop fabric, but what is behind the fabric? That is the question, right? So when you're about to film in your space, you're probably trying to tack up fabric, sheets, whatever it is, you know, to, I don't know, you, you got to hang it somehow, right? How the heck are you going to hang that fabric? So. For me, what I figured out on my own, I didn't see this in any YouTube video, so if this exists out there, hey, kudos to you, man, because I clearly didn't watch your video. This is something that I came up with on my own, and I just want to make it easy for everybody else out there because I was struggling to find an affordable backdrop that I could dismantle. So what did I do? Well, here's what I did. So I went on the app called Let Go. I love Let Go. It's just an amazing app. Uh, there's a lot of different apps that you can buy and sell from. So on my Let Go journey, I came across a garment rack. And I had seen one and it was like five feet tall. So I'm like, okay, I'm five, four and a half. I clearly need, you know, garment rack that is taller than me, right? So I was on Let Go when I was surfing and I was, you know, trying to get measurements of what is, what's the height on this? I looked online for brand new garment racks and because I'm a cheap person, I didn't want to pay like a brand new price. I knew I can get it secondhand used on Leco. So as we unveil the backdrop, here we go. We're unveiling it. If you want to know what this is, this is a twin bed sheet. So I thrift all bed sheets for my videos and it's perfect. Okay, so here we go guys. I'm unveiling the garment rack. Here's what I use. Oh! There we go. So let's go ahead and take a better look at this guy. All right, here's the garment rack. This is so amazing. Best backdrop ever. So for your garment rack, you're gonna wanna make sure that it is taller than you. I am five, four and a half. I believe this is six foot tall. And just make sure that it is above you. All right, so this is gonna be easily dismantable, guys. Oh, the little ghosties. Oh my God, my legs here. I don't know what's going on with the light, but my legs literally look like I don't have any. So they're little ghost legs. So I thought it was quite appropriate to put the little ghosties in for my little ghost legs. So don't mind those guys. All right, so as you can see, I am dismantling this garment rack and I'm doing this to show you just how easy it is. I mean, it's so simple and easy. I wanted something that I could take down and that I could put right up very easily. I'm someone that doesn't want to go through a whole bunch of stuff. I just want to make my life easy and simple. And I wanted to make sure that whatever I used, it didn't have to stay permanently in my room in that I could definitely store it in my closet or, um, I mean, God, you could put this anywhere. It just breaks apart so easily. So what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to put it right back together again. So if you find the right grooves, you know, which it's very easy to do. I have grooves that I'm fitting in and it's just piece by piece by piece. It's super easy. And guys, it's like literally a 30 second 
you know, set up, 30 second dismantle. It's a piece of cake. This cost me $10 on let go. $10, guys. I was researching backgrounds on Amazon that you could buy. I mean, just so expensive. Also with the PVC piping, you could get it for cheap when you make your own, but I'm not trying to put all those pieces together and measure. I'm not trying to do all that. So this was the perfect collapsible item for me. Voila! It's all done, guys. So now that you've seen the garment rack, here are my backdrops. You've probably seen them in my other videos. These are all twin bed sheets. I like crazy patterns. So this is like crayons. You might have seen my dinosaur sheets that I bought. Again, I thrifted all these because it's just the perfect backdrop. And I thrifted um, not just bed sheets, but like a blanket that I've used in my backdrop. So why, why would you not you know, use cute items that people aren't using anymore. This backdrop I have yet to use, uh, but it's a blanket and I love the colors, it's really fun. So, I just like fun, you know, cute colors and patterns. You can use fabric, I started out using fabric for mine, and then I realized the fabric just wasn't big enough. So, it just, it wasn't cutting it. like bed sheets are. So you can do queen, you can do king. Twin is absolutely perfect. You don't need to go any bigger than that. Really depending on what you're looking to achieve as far as your backdrop goes. I will tell you that I have used, and I still have it, is a bulletin board. It's a very large bulletin board that I used to put my fabric on and then I would sit in front of that. So you can get totally creative, but for me what I found was the most effective was the garment rack. So I hope that you, you know, enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you buy a garment rack, if, you know, it's what you use or if you use something else. Everyone's got something different that they use. But for my ease of use, this garment rack was perfect. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you again. Bye!